after the fight, you know, a little post-fight interview. And you know what? I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to give you full disclosure of how I felt about that whole thing. <laughs> I loved it. And I'm going to tell you why. I felt like, because, I, you know, I talked to a lot of friends of mine. You know, we, we love the bare knuckle. Uh, but one of the things, like, I, I've been waiting for as a fan was some some drama, some beef, you know, because, I, you know, still a new promotion. So those beefs aren't really there yet. We saw it with, you know, Pauli Malinaji and, uh, you know, Artem Loboff, right? They had a nice, you know, the press conference with a lot of drama there, you know, it was, it was good. A lot of pay-per-view buys. But now we see you winning the strap. But right after you win the belt, you're out there, you know, post-fight interview, just calling out Jim right away. So what prompted you to do that? So, so like, you know, like, like, like I had mentioned earlier, Jim was talking about that. And like, I, I, we, ran, we just ran into each other not too long ago. I'm sure you saw that. And um, I was there. And he was talking about that. Like, he keeps repeating mm -hmm. the same things over and over again. Like, he's like, oh, you know, what kind of champion calls out a contender? You know, like, you spent 10 minutes in your interview calling me out. Like, man, look, man, let's, let's get this together. Let's get it right, okay? To me, I was supposed to fight him, period, for the title. I've never, you know, counted anything down from him. I've never put him down in anything. If anything, I was always one of the guys rooting from the outside. Hey, give this guy a title shot. He deserves it. He earned it like two fights ago, you know? Um, the way that I see it is he's 4-0. He has three knockouts, okay? And he's put in work, man. You can't, you know, you can't talk that down. He's put in work. He's he's wow. grabbed some opponents, ran right through them, you know. Mm -hmm. And he's the person right now that most des deserves to have fought for the title. But it was his choice not to be there. And this is a fight that needs to be that needs to happen. Now I'll tell you why I did, okay? Because I want to get it out the way. Okay. My my real thing here is this. Look, it's like I told Dave Feldman. I'm not one of these MMA fighters that step into the conversation to then go back to MMA. Yeah. You know, I, I pretty much retired from MMA. I know that this is the sport that was made for me. And I want to be a part of this growth. I'm mm -hmm. here to stay. Okay. You know, I want big names. Big names. This fight is big. Oh yeah. Jim has done his 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 work. Oh yeah. He's got good credibility. Mm-hmm. But I want to get him out of the way so that I can get the biggest name possible. I'm not you. the person that ducks fights. Give me the biggest. I don't care if it's a professional boxer undefeated with some sort of championship belt. I don't mm -hmm. care if it's an MMA fighter that just came out of UFC or Bellator or 1FC. I don't care who it is. If I have to go up and wait, I'll probably even go up and wait. Okay? But just... I want the biggest, most known name out there as possible to blow BKFC further and further with every single fight that I do. And not only that, to get what I deserve too, right? And you get know? paid, bro. Yeah, you know, so I want to be a part of that growth. Now, to do that, I got to be real with myself. Jim is up first. You know, he was up a while with me ago. He decided not to be there. I'm not going to be chasing him either. This fight is set, you know, and if for whatever reason, he comes up with some new excuse like his vagina got swollen or something, <laughs> then, you know, I'm going to tell Dave, Dave, hey, man, I need a fight. Like, I'm not going to be waiting for this guy, you know. But, you know, I, I don't believe that he's scared of me. You know, I don't believe that. Maybe he's no, insecure. I don't. I believe, maybe he's insecure because I whooped his ass in the gym over and over again. Oh, really? Like, yeah. Like, I never said it before yeah. because I'm not the one to talk shit, you know. Yeah. But in the last altercation that we had, in the last meeting that we had, I lost respect for him. You know, so at this point, you're going to say things about me and kind of bring out my record, talk about my losses and I don't know what. Then I'm going to tell you what it is. Yeah. I whooped his ass over and over again when he was training MMA Masters. And anybody that has trained MMA Masters will tell you that. Anybody that has trained there will tell you that. Whether it's his friend or not, they'll tell you. I used to spank Jim in the gym. I used to spank him. Even in jiu-jitsu, I tapped him out. 